Hello again, Michael Hewitson, absolutely delighted with our February meeting. Two years and in the making, we've finally got a traffic plan up and passed across the city. I'd like to thank all those who participated in the shaping UNI. We all know the problem. The problem is there's more cars seeking fewer parking spots. Well, we've worked together and we have got a package of solutions which we hope will improve the accessibility for all the people who live in Unley, who come to work in Unley, or wish to shop and do business in Unley. Another item coming after the council meeting was about flooding. It is not often you spend $863,000 every year and success is you see nothing for it. Yes, we're building underground drains. Yes, we're carrying the localised water where we do have flooding into the Brown Hill Creek and also into the Keswick Creeks. We need to spend another almost a million dollars every year on the Brown Hill Keswick Creeks to ensure that water is also carried out to sea and doesn't flood other parts of Unley or West Torrance. And yet another, renewable energy. And this time, we're on a winner. We have to, of course, do our legal checks, but what is it? Well, Mitcham have pioneered it, and congratulations to the Mitcham Council. They did a presentation to our council. That presentation formed the basis of the council decision. We are going to go for a virtual battery for the whole of Unley, and we're going for solar panels that can, are smart and connected. At times, electricity is very expensive. Those times, we feed the money into the grid. At other times, electricity is very cheap. At those times, we're feeding electricity into the batteries. The winners should be the 34% of our population who are renters. Because for the first time, landlords at no cost at all can put the whole system in place and after 10 years, pay a dollar to own it. The electricity from the solar panels will get stored in this virtual battery and the smart meter collects it all to the benefit of the owners, to the renters and our community as a whole. Three major projects, they don't just happen. Our staff and our community have worked hard. I want to congratulate and thank the staff for shaping the uh, traffic plan, the parking plan, the energy plan and of course the money down the drain plan which hopefully will save millions of dollars of cost to our community which flooding causes. It's a very good investment. Mm -hmm.